And I'm back. Uh, so, got the stream all set up for some Advance Wars here. We could do about an hour of it. I know I haven't been sinking a lot of time into it, but for now, just doing what we can. Uh, stream is still just tagged as Advance Wars. There was that one, like, bootleg Advance Wars reboot camp tag. It was a re rebootleg camp. Rebootleg. <laughs> it's almost as if I made that joke off stream and then and then made it again now because it sounded funny. And it isn't funny. So, you know, say it a second time louder and laugh at it and maybe it will be funny. But yeah, they apparently... There, there was a reboot camp tag on Twitch, but they, like, removed it because it was really... B it wasn't accurate. It was just said, like, Advance War Reboot Camp. And I think it was all, like, one word. It was, like, reboot was just the one word with the hyphen. It's gone now, and unfortunately the actual Reboot Camp tag is still not present. So I'm just streaming this under Advance Wars 1. And he's fixing a bike in the intro. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's fixing the bike he stole from Sammy. Yes, the the irony of him fixing the bike and he's voiced by Veronica Taylor. It's like they knew. Speaking of Sammy, off to her debut, her debut. The eagle has landed. Time to clip his wings. Uh, hmm. All right. I mean, this is Sammy's mission. Let's use her. I know for a fact. Once I roll into Gold Comet, uh, we're gonna be gonna be maxing it up quite a bit. I think I've seen those guys before. Um, those look like Green Earth troops. I've heard rumors they have an independent battalion around here. They're supposed to be really tough, especially their air units. I know. Never thought I'd seen that kind of airplane before. Oh, right. Do you need a new debriefing on our new air units? Yes. It's taken longer than expected, but I was finally able to secure us a fighter jet and bomber for our forces. And just in time, it seems. Fighter jets have a huge movement range and can fire on any flying unit they are adjacent to. Unfortunately, they're completely useless against ground units. Let me show you just how effective they are. Select this fighter jet. Do you see how far they can move? Since we don't know exactly what's out there, let's take out this battle copter to start. Aroo! Hey, sour cream! New game? No, this is uh, Advance Wars. This came out a couple weeks ago. You've been here while I was playing it. I know, because you kept saying that Olaf is hot. How can I forget that? It's no wonder they say fighter jets rule the skies. Just make sure you keep your air units out of enemy range or they'll be destroyed. Select this unit, please. Now let's take a look at bombers. Bombers can attack only adjacent ground and naval units. However, they deal massive damage and most units aren't even able to strike them back. New playthrough? No, no. This is still story mode of, uh, of one. Let's take out this enemy missile unit before it can attack our air units. Up the volume a little bit. Turn it down a bit. Nice shot. Bombers are really strong, so make sure you keep an eye out for them, and watch out for enemy fighter jets as well. With air units, you also need to keep an eye on how much fuel they have remaining. Copters use two fuel units per day, but fighter jets and bombers use a whopping five per day. If they run out, they'll crash, and those units will be lost. Remember that air units ignore terrain movement penalties, and they also but they also don't get any terrain bonuses. So there's a trade-off. That's a special forces commander for you. Always up on the latest intel. Hey, wait. Did you say that you've seen them before, Andy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, their commander seemed really mad at me. Have you survived? Work, kid. Come on. Let's roll. Okay. This is a pre-deployed, so we're probably gonna end up smashing most of their units. B 
But I have to make a decision here because it doesn't look like I can attack both of these helicopters in one turn. Actually, no, not I can, just not with the anti-air. Okay, maybe we'll get lucky and this will do 100%. Standard luck in this game is plus or minus 9%, right? Up to 9%. Okay, nothing in any of those squares is good. Missiles here. Okay. Probably not a smart move. Oh, no, never mind. I'm safe. Let's because there's a unit here, they can't see it. Pew pew, yeah. No unit there. Oh, forced. We don't have the best movement. There, there wouldn't be any units back towards the base, would there? I hate missile movement. Yeah, what is the missile movement anyway? Four. Wow, no wonder. Yeah, and it takes two to. It, it takes two movement to get through a forest. Not looking forward to tomorrow. It's sheep brain time. Hold on. Let me give you. Let me give you a hit the sheep brain. Okay. The Orange Star Army. Those are Andy's troops. I won't be beaten again. By Andy and his ilk. This time I shall crush them with one decisive blow. I believe Pro ZD also voices, um, he voices, is, is it, f uh, one of the guys in, uh, in, a uh, Black Hole in the second game. I don't believe, I know, for a fact. Oh, crap. Well, so much for that unit. Oh, never mind. That was the weak one. Less than rockets. It's gonna make it harder to deal with, but I have respect for the animal. I will deal with it. Oh. Oh, you have to, uh... Oh, you mean like a literal sheep brain. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't realize that was what you were going to be working on. That's rough, I'm sorry. Uh, B-copters. Leave there and attack. Yep, for science and learning, yeah. Again, I worked on a worm and a uh and a and a and a frog when I was in a uh, high school. No, not even high school, it was eighth grade. Her uh, stuff. No, I didn't mean to use that. Well, I'm gonna reset turn because I didn't mean to use that. Everyone's in units. There's no point. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Really wish it would give you an option to uh to, to confirm or deny that. 
It's all transparent, so we have to do the option to back out, but it's going to be replaced with another assignment, and I don't want to write another paper. To be fair, it's kind of better to just do the hard one. Do the more hands-on one and get it over with. But I move around before... No, I meant... What did I do differently? I must have moved that copter, the seven copter up intact. Yes, we do know where it came from. Okay, that's good. Still, that's really weird. A sheep brain? Beetle Pig Lab, oh no. That makes me uncomfortable just thinking about it. I've got a lot of ammo left. Probably take that out. As long as there's no enemy right next to me, I should be fine. Wait, are flying units still obscured by... by... Because that's a terrain thing, isn't it? This is what I meant to check. A dummy. Likes chocolate, hates cowards. An infantry unit specialist has trouble with other ground units. She's a proud graduate of Special Forces training. Sammy's foot soldiers gain plus 20 to firepower and plus 10 to defense, and can capture properties at 150% speed. Her other direct combat units suffer minus 10 to firepower. Transport units gain plus 1 to movement range. Double time. Sammy's foot soldiers gain plus 1 movement to range. Plus 1 to movement range, excuse me. Plus 35 to firepower and plus 15 to defense. The movement costs are reduced to 1 across all terrain, regardless of weather. Her other units gain a small bonus to, to firepower and defense. So, all of her units... All of her units kind of get nerfed, except the indirects, and, and infantry gets buffed. No, but man, we gotta learn where where is what, why, and how it works, yeah. If an air, air unit's in vision, it will not be hidden. Ah, okay. Got it. Why don't I use the anti-air on the, on the bomber? I'm just, What am I doing? I'm playing like a fool tonight. unit should be safe at where it is. If I move it to the front line, it's going to be less safe, but... Or not, we might be fucked, actually. Star, I'll pull no punches. Lightning drive. Yeah, he's going to take out my uh, anti air. F Zero music plays.
But now they have reduced defense, too, so it's a little, uh, a little easier to take them out. God, missile movement is so bad. It's recommended to never end turn with a unit in a transporter if you can help it. Really? Ever. Okay. Bomber's obviously the biggest threat. We don't want that thing there. Like in this map, they would of course be vulnerable to bombers, but losing two units at once hurts, yeah. Might be the play here. You could set up amb ambushes, though, yeah. Alright, good. Let's get this out of the way. Copter over there. How far can this hit? Yeah, that's pretty big range. Okay. A funny ambush. I don't want to move too far in there because it's going to draw them out. That plate's safe. Okay, that didn't really help too much. Gonna have to push in. Sammy, her power's great, but 
In a map where you only have a couple infantry, it's not, not really the best play. Vision 3. Oh! I'm gonna scooch this over here. see me. Boring power, to be honest, is the least expensive in the game, yeah. I mean, it's just useful if you if you really need to uh, pull off that one-turn capture. Oh, shit. Oh, it's because I, I was on the mountain. You know what? And, uh, let's start getting some visibility here. Possibly a very bad move, but... Journey ahead will be tough, but I am undeterred. Okay, perfect. Took the bait. Hoping to not lose the other copter immediately, but whatever. We can deal. I will use the power this turn, because it'll let me move further. Now it's my turn. Double time. Missile Chan gets two kills, you know. <laughs> Just because this also gives a small boost to the other units as well. So it's absolutely worth doing. It also means I could slide this right over here and hopefully not. Damn it! Dumb plays by Michael McCaw. Thankfully, these things have shit vision. Wait, what? Oh, that's her superpower in two. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm thinking of her superpower in two where she could capture, yeah, Victory March. Shoot. That was really dumb of me. Is Spotify good? No random question. Um, when I used it, I enjoyed it. I stopped using it because I kind of just stopped. Li I don't... It, if you like to listen to a lot of music, it's good. But you also want to make sure the music you want to listen to is on there. Because there are some groups that aren't on there. There are definitely some... Uh, so, some music that just doesn't show up. It's not good for artists. I'll say that. It's not good for the actual people making the music. My fighter's gonna get hit, but... Yeah. Oh no! My medium tank!
Okay, wait a minute. Time to bait. Time to bait. This thing can only see two square squares in front of it, though. I'm going to demonstrate my skill. Oh, I just realized that's them getting trapped whenever they see that, whenever that noise plays. There we go. It's not about to die yet. It's low on fuel, but it takes it's still got another three days in it. Well, we took out the bomber. So now what else? What else we got left over here? Tank, okay. Oh the fighter's still over here though. We don't wanna Allow me to demonstrate my skill. Gets ambushed immediately, yeah. Okay, well, the ground units don't have to worry about the fighter. Which is good. But I really need to get that fighter down here so I can take it out. Oh, there's another fight. Oh, shit. That's not good. Lightning drive. Damn it, he was like one step ahead of me. for the HQ cap, yeah. Oh, that's gonna take several days to get to, though. I don't know if it's safe over there, though. That's the problem. it is. Some risky moves here. Got a fighter. I can't do jack against uh, the te the mech. Here I come. Double time.
I was worried he might base block me. I don't know if the, the enemy's IQ would have been that smart, but hey, we got it. Don't think there's any way they're gonna get in here. Dicey, just because I didn't anticipate there being another fighter and bomber at the end. I think that's it, though. I think those are the only two units left. So if I was able to get the, the missiles over here, I could just route instead, but... Taking the time to do that. Commander. Eagle. I do believe we've been defeated, sir. Possible. I, Eagle, lost again? It happens to the best of us. Really? Who might you be? My loss is none of your concern. Name's Sammy. I'm an Orange Star CO. The indignity of it, losing yet again to such an inexperienced lot. What? Excuse me? You're just careless. That's why you keep losing. We're a capable group of COs here. Maybe you should head back to basic training and pick up a few new strategies. Your old ones don't seem to be working out so well. I beg your pardon, Orange Star CO. Sammy, was it? Uh, yeah? I would like to apologize for my behavior. Virtually Eagle pulls the I can't believe I lost to a girl line. What if you play as uh, Max or Andy then? Uh, uh... Oh, well, uh, okay. I vow by my lucky goggles that the next time we meet, I will do better. And I will treat my opponents with the respect they deserve. For now, I take my leave. Farewell. Uh... Wait a minute, no one said you could leave. I... Dog changes, okay. I figured. And he's gone. At least he seems like a halfway decent guy after all. Eagle's just a rejected Ace Attorney character. <laughs> well, outside of some ass technique, that was actually pretty good. Now it's on the Gold Comet. He's a rejected Digimon character. Yeah, he's got goggles. All oh, right, I spent most of my money last stream. Hey there. Fresh supply of collectibles. Oh, well, I need Welcome COs. All right, Eagle, because Eagle's kind of like the mid-chapter guy. Look to the horizon. Like a plague, here comes the Orange Star Army. Not content with their own lands, they've come to steal mine. Sour Cream is right, though, and so is Ephraim. <laughs> I put goggles on my Lunamon, she's so adorbs. Never, I say. Never! Convey's elite forces shall drive them back. It's the most voice acting this game has had so far. Kanbei arrives. Gold Comet flares up when Orange Star crosses paths with Kanbei. So, so um, in the original games, this was Yellow Comet. They changed it to Gold Comet now. <laughs> anyway. It's time to max force our way through this. I believe, like, all of Kanbei's missions, you just kind of... Plow through with Max. If it's like the original. This is the best part of the game, that's why. So, Kanbei's deal... Kanbei's deal is that his units cost more to make, but they have higher defense and attack. Uh-oh. I was just planning on passing through Gold Comet, but Kanbei's elite forces spotted us before we even reached the border. That's bad. Kanbei's elite forces? Yep. According to our intel, they're the best trained troops in the region. The high equipment costs and salaries per soldier make them awfully hard to maintain. I've heard of them before. Kanbei's supposed to be the reason no one messes with that little country. 
But still, there's no way he's gonna beat me. Let's go get him. Yeah, his units are his units are very boxy looking. They're pretty cool. Leader of Gold Comet who has a soft spot for his daughter. His superior units are full of fighting spirit if they come at a cost. Units deploy at plus 20% cost, but gain plus 20 to firepower and defense. Likes Sonya and hates computers. Also, yes, I, I heard enough of the voice acting, because I've, I've heard the voice acting after this mission. He does mention, he does call his daughter by name, and it is Sonya! I feel completely vindicated in knowing it, what you don't pronounce the J. I was like, that's not, it's not Sonja, right? Like, that's how I've always said it, but it's, it's not right. It isn't. And it isn't. It's Sonya. Morale boost. Combat units gain plus 20 to firepower and plus 10 to defense. So his CO power essentially gives them like an extra 40% attack power over regular units. All the units are buffed. He just needs extra money, which on a map like this means nothing because this is all pre-deployed. So he just has the advantage going in. First things first, these missiles, they gotta go. We cannot have him firing off missiles on our on our pre-deploys here. I mean, truth be told, it's just a bunch of tanks, so if we keep the two medium tanks in the front ha happy and healthy here, and we don't, um push our missiles too far in. We should be okay. Literally looks like he belongs in Avatar. Yeah, he kinda does. We don't wanna... Wait, can this... Okay, the tanks can reach. Yeah, he actually belongs in a samurai movie. <laughs> Well, now he's got no range, so keeping our missiles, like, safely tucked away probably benefits us. That over here. in a good position. Well, he's got the artillery, but that's that, that thing's not going to be hitting anything anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> they know what's up. They know not to bother. Wait, wait for the medium tank. My daughter, I will store my I'll store our honor for Sonya. Okay. Start picking up. God damn it. Alright, well, we could have this one pick one off. Let's start to pick one off. Better just bottleneck here until we're ready. They advance. Don't touch the clowns. Let the clowns touch you. Yeah, they're much more keen to attacking a. Uh... small tanks. Looks like the big bad wolf towards everyone, but do doting father towards his daughter. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much exactly what he is. God, look at that. With missiles, he's only taken, a uh, Three damage.
Okay. Now we can mop him up with this one. Sig Max moment, yeah. Yeah, the medium tank definitely needs to be weakened the quickest here. Though I've kind of boxed myself into a corner here un unintentionally. Get this tank uh, over here. These infantries are pretty much u useless right now. They might be useful at picking off the, the ground units later, but the forces of Gold Comet will show you the true meaning of strength. Shit. Morale boost. Improved behavior, piss comet. <laughs> okay, they're going for caps, which isn't really gonna do much here. Oh, oof, that my mech is uh, my mech's hurting. No, nope, never mind, my mech's dead. Artillery is now going to be able to hit, so... Give up. Piss Comet's now cannon. Artillery gets to fire twice, what? Ah, shoot. No matter what I do, I can only use one of these on... Well, I guess the upside is that I could take out the, the medium tank no matter what. That's the most important thing. Oh, he put his artillery right next to the medium tank. Well, never mind. That thing's screwed. Alright, we're safe now. He's got nothing. We, we removed all of his major units at this point. Just funny when Max actually fires artillery, yeah. Now we'll go for the that just because it does more damage. Green is like, yes, yes. Oh, Grin. Okay. What? Uh, Alright. Tank's in a little bit of a dicey position just because it could get bum-rushed, but... We got two damaged. Oh, mostly damaged max. Never mind. They're they're not doing shit. In fact, they're retreating. We actually get to use max artillery. And now 
pick that one off with the missile. useless. <laughs> Alright, he's on his last legs now. That tank's gonna refill a bit of health, but... Soldiers, gather your courage and deal our enemy a mighty blow! God, what? What would happen? Alright. There's Tonkot's flavored noodles in the house right now. Ooh. That's not something I eat often. got that one tank that's not going to move because it's going to be refilling health. Your superior numbers mean nothing. We shall prevail. And no, you won't. So many of Kanbei's great forces be defeated so quickly. Generations of the finest soldiers led onto the battlefield by the deepest bonds of allegiance and belief that we will prevail, and yet, Kanbei won't forget this. Withdraw! That was much too close. No, it wasn't. We completely wrecked them. I don't know how I did. I, I must have been one day too short getting that done. You also want to eat curry, too? Oh, man. I could go for curry. The week I get back from Atlanta, uh, that weekend, I'm actually not going to be here because I'll be going to the New Jersey Ren Fair. And uh, I plan on buying a ton of curry powder, which I will then just put in my canned chili. Hey there. Really want to have, like, actual good curry. 20 of them. Well, considering one lasts me, like several months. I don't think it has to be that quickly. Now, there it is! Sonya! Well, that depends, Father. What are the current battle conditions? Ah. What's that? Ask about the conditions, Father. What are they? Oh. Well, I, uh... Oh, Father. This is so typical of you. Gathering thorough intel prior to battle is the key to victory. How are you planning to win without even basic information? Basic information? Well, yes, of course. Hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. I suppose. I could share my intel with you this time, Father. The enemy army deployed over there. Over here. Doesn't appear to be a very large force. Hmm. Is that so? I'll just crush them with our superior numbers. Well, yes, that's one option, but first... It is decided, then. This time, Kanbei will be showered with the glory of victory. I don't think that's what what a gold shower is. Okay, never mind. Wait, Father, you must remember to deploy in an area with secure bases. If the enemy seizes them before you arrive... Father? Drat. It's already gone. Oh, Father, always so impulsive. 
What are you trying to prove? Mighty Kanbei. We unfortunately don't have enough time for this because it's already 3.30. In fact, we're like two minutes short of three hours here. Can Kanbei bridge the gap before you can build your best defense? So there's three bases. This is going to take a while, too. You know base missions take me forever. Uh, yeah. Well, we made we got through two missions in, in under an hour. That's not terrible. We're, we're making pretty good progress. Because this is... Actually, wait a minute. Only 32%? Really? Because, like, after... Well, there's five more missions here. But after that, we go to Green Earth, and then that's kind of like the second-to-last area, right? We do Gold Comet, then we fight Eagle again, then we go to Green Earth. Maybe they changed it, I don't know. But also, there, there's missions I didn't do up here, apparently. That you unlock after you... Well, you get the other routes, so... I guess that counts. What we got unlocked? Welcome. Uh, maybe. Uh huh. Stereo sound and all that. It's actually very well. I mean, the map kind of focuses on. Well, no, no, it doesn't. Not anymore. Never mind. Uh, just more music. Good playing today, though. Thank you. Go and take a bath. Wow, it called me out. So Ephraim posted. Ephraim, you posted a video today. I did not know you could do this. You could just back out while he's what talking. And he gets pissed. Oh, right, and you also figured out how to do the custom map trick. What is it? You hold s minus while making the pressing plus. I don't know how I didn't try that button before. Yep, there we go. It's uh, Nintendo. The Nintendo uh, Japanese logo. Really cool. Shush, I'm not stinky. Stop. I'll take a shower in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, uh, cool stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm just trying to stall because it's. I still got like a minute. And unlock. You actually, yeah. The cinema stuff unlocks automatically. Golden Comet. Uh, no, stop. That was a very pissy joke, and I shouldn't have made it. But, uh, yeah, this was fun. This was fun as always. Tomorrow, uh, I'll finish Kirby. Kirby's done tomorrow. Then we'll do Advance Wars, and then Advance Wars will be the focus on a uh, really loud uh, plane outside for 3.30 in the morning. Um, we'll focus on Advance Wars Thursday and Friday. And then... Um, I'll see if I stream Saturday. I probably won't. We'll, we'll have to see. And then Sunday will be the uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga finale. And then I have two more days of streams. Uh, the next two days. Yeah, e Bombers... Eagle's Bomber wants revenge on me. He's flying over my house right now. Just explodes. Stream just... Stream just suddenly ends without any, like... No. It didn't actually end. Um... I would love to do that joke, but, like, I gotta say my thing. Um, so if you want to, uh, thank you all for coming, as always. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wild, uh, wild abandon. Plenty of people stream- God damn it. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I'll be back tomorrow. You all have a great evening, and I will see you- that was terrible. That didn't sync up properly at all. I'll see you tomorrow.